giving internet marketing a go while also holding down a full-time job. So learning how to get the most out of your hours is essential. That said, sometimes it's even more difficult to be efficient if you have all day to do it. So decent time management is also super critical for full-time marketers. That's why in this lesson we're going to look at the 12 essential tips to double your productivity. Let's get straight into it. Tip number one, use time management software. We recommend clockingit.com. It's free and it does the trick. Add in your ongoing and one-off tasks and select a due date. When you begin working on a task, click on the start work icon and clocking it will start the timer. Click on the icon again when you finish working on the task. You can keep stopping and starting until you finish the task, at which point clocking it will tell you how long you've spent on it. The software makes it easy to see where you're spending your time and pinpoint potential bottlenecks. It's quite shocking to realise you spent five hours of your working week checking your email. It's also a great tool to get your staff using too, if and when you employ any. You may also find it useful to use a countdown timer for when you want to accomplish a lot of work in a short period of time. Try setting your timer for two hours and then working solidly for that time, refusing any interruptions. Try to do this a couple of times a day and you'll see big results. If you're nervous, try 30 minutes to begin with. You can still get an amazing amount of work done in 30 minutes if you avoid distractions. And once you master that, increase the time period. Simple. Tip number two, keep a notebook of ideas. It's easy to get distracted by a brainwave while in the middle of a task. If you follow it up, you can inadvertently spend hours of time away from what you are really needing to get done. Obviously, this isn't good for productivity, but at the same time, you don't want to ignore and potentially forget about those good ideas. Dave Allen, the author of a fantastic book called Getting Things Done, recommends that busy people keep a tickler file. A tickler file can be a Word document, a notebook, or a permanent clocking it task. The idea is that a tickler file is somewhere to quickly jot ideas down when they occur to you, so that you don't need to interrupt what you're doing and you can easily find the idea again in the future. Tip number three, set daily micro goals. All too often we get overwhelmed by big tasks and end up floundering around not really achieving anything at all. The best way to counter this is to make a list of three to five small goals to achieve each day. You can either make your list the night before or first thing in the morning. Online task lists are handy, but there is something about actually picking up a pen and writing on paper that helps to focus your mind. Micro goal setting ensures that you systematically get where you want to go. And it also helps you to feel like you're achieving something each and every day. Tip number four, get rid of clutter. A tidy office equals a tidy mind. If you find yourself getting distracted by items on your desk, chat windows, the phone, or even the view out of your window, then simply remove them or change the position of your desk. It makes a world of difference to your power of concentration. Tip number five, limit your email checking to twice a day. Did you know that for most people, email is the single biggest interruption? We recommend checking your email only after midday, as you may discover a lot of fires to put out that are best left until after you've done some important work. Don't keep checking your email throughout the day. Close your email program or the window in your browser. Concentrate on your current tasks and limit yourself to two checks a day at the most. Tip number six, learn to say no. Being able to stay on task for an extended period is vital for getting a good result, but that can't be done if you're constantly getting interrupted throughout the day. The solution is to get ruthless. Only say yes to tasks that just can't wait or that can be easily completed along with your other goals for the day. Tip number seven, get the worst job over and done with first thing. Procrastination is very distracting. Get into the habit of tackling the task you dread the most first thing in the morning, so that your mind is free from the niggling worry for the rest of the day. Tip number eight, pull to-dos out of emails and add them to your task list. Going back and forth from the original email to check up on what you need to do can waste valuable minutes and increase the likelihood that you'll overlook something critical. 
make sure you immediately add tasks from emails to your time management software. Tip number nine, use the 80-20 ratio. 80% of your time should be spent doing, and no more than 20% should be spent learning. This is an especially important lesson for affiliates. We can be easily suckered into sales pitches from internet marketing gurus, and we all know how long those sales pitches can be. If you're going to give your time to these sales pitches or to reading forums and blogs and newsletters, make sure it fits within your schedule for getting things done. Set yourself a time task and keep track of how much time you spend. Then decide whether that time would have been better spent achieving goals on your task list. Tip number 10. Use a cell phone with a calendar or personal organiser. When you're busy, it's easy to forget important appointments. One way of solving this problem is to add appointments and meetings to your cell phone calendar and schedule the alarm to go off 15 minutes beforehand. Tip number 11. Keep a separate to-do list for personal matters. If you suddenly realise there's something that you need to do that has nothing to do with work, write it down in a separate personal to-do list and come back to it outside of work time. Keeping your personal life organised ensures it doesn't overflow into your business day. And finally, tip number 12. Delegate as much as you can. Don't hoard tasks that your staff or other people are more than capable of carrying out for you. Some people find letting go of pet activities tough at first, but it's very necessary in order to free up more time. Also, make sure that you have set times each day for appointments with staff and or joint venture partners. This is critical if you want to avoid constant interruptions throughout the day. So, there are 12 tips for doubling your productivity. It's easy to downplay or put off organising your business, but setting up efficient business practices is just as important as good SEO or pay-per-click strategies. So make sure that you take those very seriously. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you again very soon. Bye for now.